Welcome to a demonstration of JSTOR Global Plants, a comprehensive database for the study of plant life. In this short demonstration, I'll tell you a bit about the Global Plants Initiative. We'll take a look at the features and content on the site, and then I'll let you know how to get more information about Global Plants. Global Plants is a database from JSTOR a digital library of more than 1,700 academic journals, nearly 15,000 books, and thousands of primary sources. During its development phase, the site was known as JSTOR Plant Science. The site has now been redesigned and renamed Global Plants. The URL is plants.jstor.org. During its development, Global Plants tripled in size. Today, it is the largest database of its kind. It holds more than 2 million plant type specimens and other complementary content, such as photographs, paintings, and explorers' correspondence related to the trips where the specimens were collected. Global Plants is a partnership between JSTOR and the Global Plants Initiative, which consists of 270 herbaria from 70 countries. The Global Plants Initiative represents a 10-year collaboration. It started with a small group of herbaria who were funded by the Mellon Foundation to digitize and bring online African plants. The initiative grew to include herbaria and plants from Latin America and ultimately became global in scale. Today, GPI partner organizations capture data and use digital technologies to create high-resolution images of type specimens from their collections and other types of content contributed to the database. JSTOR acts as their virtual hub, providing the production systems, support for digitizing the types, and a platform for the discovery and use of the content by the partner's own researchers as well as other researchers around the world. In this demonstration, we'll focus on the content and features of the site. Using the tools on global plants, scientists, students, and researchers can search across multiple types of content, view high-resolution images of plant specimens and other digital objects, use a My Plants account to save and organize digital objects, and follow links to relevant materials on JSTOR and partner sites. Let's go to the Global Plants site. Options on the main page allow you to browse content on the site, log into your My Plants account, and see more information about Global Plants, including a partner list. Let's begin by trying a basic search. As I type, suggested search terms appear below the search box. The search terms are from the plants list and allow you to review and jump quickly to related plant names. On the search results page, you can sort your search or browse results by several criteria. Many results will be grouped according to the scientific name with additional information that might be of interest to your research. Some search results contain the link View Compilation Page. A compilation page is a summary or index page which pulls together a variety of resources from the database related to the particular plant name or taxon. These materials can include type specimens, flora records, illustrations and paintings, as well as field notebooks and correspondence, and links to relevant journal content and primary sources. Compilation pages are dynamically created and updated on a daily basis and are a great way to easily access materials related to a particular plant. Let's go back to the search results and take a look at a plant specimen. The left side of the specimen page contains a thumbnail image of the object. The middle section of the page includes descriptive metadata. The metadata is linked when possible, so it's easy to browse other items in the same collection or from the same herbarium. 
The right side of the page shows links to related materials on JSTOR and partner sites. If you have access to JSTOR, you can follow links directly to journal articles that contain the name of the specimen. The Action menu provides other options for working with the digital object. You can download a PDF file that includes the specimen image as well as metadata for the object. You can also choose to tag the object. In order to add tags to the object for my personal use, I need to create and log into a My Plants account. Now, I can create tags that allow me to organize my research. You can use the Object Viewer to see a high-resolution version of the specimen. Using the Viewer tools, you can zoom in and out take measurements, and save image regions for later study. To take a measurement, we first need to calibrate the measurement tool. First, select Calibrate, then the Measurement tool, measure against the scale, specify the correct value, and click Calibrate. Now you're ready to take measurements anywhere on the image. To save a measurement, click on Measurements, choose Add, a name for the measurement, and Save. You can also save image regions for later study. Zoom in to the area of interest, click on Regions, choose Safe Current View, and give that view a name. Outside of the viewer, you can click on My Profile from anywhere on the site to access your saved materials. Under My Profile, then Tags, you will see all of the items you have saved. These will include saved objects, measurements, and image views. An advanced searching option is available and allows you to search across many different fields associated with objects on the site. Let's search for a collector's name. The results for a search across all types of materials for this name include correspondence as well as a reference entry and type specimens related to this collector. Reference pages include helpful material such as a short biography and sources for information about this collector. Lastly, let's take a look at a community feature of Global Plants. Each specimen page includes a comment feature, which enables researchers and scientists to attach comments about the specimen and metadata. In this example, the comment contains a correction to the species designation. All comments are automatically submitted to the contributing herbarium and are used to update and continuously improve the metadata and related information on the site. This concludes our short tour of the Global Plants site. If you have questions about Global Plants or would like to set up trial access, please contact us at plants at jstor.org. Thank you.